Good morning, buddy. Ready for some milk? Okay. I'll go make your milk. Well, it looks like we had ourselves another calf overnight. Let's see what we got here. A little bull calf, white bull calf. Guessing that's a Kowalski. Crazy, eh? A roan cow with a roan bull brings a white calf. And so yeah, that one happened, I'm not sure, sometime during the night. And uh, they're doing good by the looks of it. And then <clears throat> Eleanor had a big, uh, <coughs> nice size heifer calf. Uh, yeah, it's big enough. Heifer calf uh, yesterday. I was going away. I had gone to go pick up uh, uh, our cattle trailer got painted. And so I went to go pick that up. And while I was gone, she calved. And uh, Dylan and uh, my nephew Dylan and Quinn, they were around when she calved and everything went good. So we are now down to, we are now down to seven cows left to calve. So. All right, Margo is doing good. Um, he's drinking lots. He's got some calf starter in the corner he has been eating. At least we're assuming it's him, not the cats. There we go. Okay, I've seen this pair on. So Eleanor and her calf. Okay, not happy with me? Okay, well you guys can go outside. <laughs> Dylan and uh, Peter processed this calf yesterday. They did everything but tag it. So, we've seen this calf on, so they can go outside. It's nice outside. Let's go. Your calf is with you. Let's go. Go, on. go with mom. This little 87 pound bull calf, Kowalski.
got tiny little nuts. There. So you take them and you're done. Okay, with that, we got seven cows left to calve. Of those seven, one of them is, uh, we're thinking she's pretty close, uh, but there's six there that, uh, yeah, they don't even look like, I'd like to get them preg checked again to make sure that they're actually pregnant, but we could be, uh, those six could take another uh, month and a half, two months <laughs> to, to calve, so we could be, we could be calving for a little bit, so. In the last video, uh, Ryan, our uh, the guy, one of our vets that comes out, he uh, uh, <clears throat> he helped us come up with a concoction to treat two of our calves that were sick. One of them had an infection in the leg, and the other one had uh, laryngitis. And <clears throat> we have been, I've been treating those calves every day, and they are coming along pretty good. So I got to go do that. Hey, right here is the calf. That's the one that had a swollen leg or an infection in the knee. Still not running 100%, but uh, yeah, definitely doing better. Let's see if we can find the calf. Oh, there he is. He's probably gonna hate me already and he sees me coming he knows he's getting needles so his breathing is already way better before i could hear him wheezing from across the pen so it's a little tricky getting him Because then there, all right, we got him. Still breathing a little bit rough, but definitely doing a lot better. All right, it is beautiful out. There's hardly any wind. The sun's out. Temperatures are right around freezing. But what I'm liking to see is the cows and calves are all walking around for the most part and as these uh, critters are getting older our checks are gonna have to be they'll be less and less but I think these ones are all yeah, their heads are up hey you're doing good hey A little dopey uh oh how are you doing a bit of a cough. 27 inch. Get. We'll have to keep our eye on that one. We got our creep feeder going. And we've been seeing the calves in here a lot. Eating. Which is awesome. That should help them grow. This is one of the twins. Mama's raising both of them. I think it looks pretty good.
All right, you guys all good in here? Yeah, all good? Hey. As uh, we're getting more straw in here, some of these bigger cows are having a harder time getting in and out of here. Another twin. Hey, how's mama? She's feeding you good? A little bit on the smaller side. That's the problem when you have twins. Yesterday, I uh, when I was gone, I uh, I was gone yesterday to go pick up our trailer. We completely rewelded the whole. The bottom was all rusted out, and all the cross members were rotten. And uh, so we we fixed it up. I built all this. All this is new, and the whole bottom from here down. And then you can still see a little bit. There's a line here and then from here down and then we built all these fenders <clears throat> i did that a number of years ago and uh we finished it up just peter finished it up and the door this last winter and we picked it up yesterday from getting sandblasted and painted <clears throat> so yeah the plan is that we'll when we have small loads oh i got a flat tire the plan is if we just have a couple animals to move, we'll use this. Or when we're moving the animals out to pasture, we can throw all the calves in this one and the cows in the other one so they don't, uh, so the cows don't trample on the calves. So, yep, it'll be handy. <laughs> I bought this thing very cheap at an auction sale many, many years ago. So, uh, yeah, it'll be handy having a second trailer around. We moved Marco out here with the 4-H animals, so I'm gonna go make his bottle. Hey, buddy. Okay. You like it out here? Okay. And uh, he'll be with 4-H uh, animals, which is better than being by himself in the barn. He gets some fresh air, room to run around. So, uh, two more calves hit the ground. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch. Hey, buddy. Have yourself a good one.